With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, first of all let us look at the question. Among the following pairs of ions, the lower oxidation state in aqueous solution is more stable than other is. So here we have been given four set of pair of ions and we need to find out that out of all the four pairs, which one will have the most stable uh, lower oxidation state in aqueous solution. Now to solve this question, we'll have to write down the electronic configuration of each and every ion here and then we can figure out that uh, based on the electronic configuration, hydration energy, right, at, uh, the enthalpy of atomization. So all these factors will be taken into account to decide that which uh, particular ion is more stable in aqueous solution. Now Zn plus 2 uh, will have the electronic configuration of Ar, then 3d10 and 4s0. Whereas uh, Zn plus 3 will have the electronic configuration of Ar, 3d9 and 4s0. Now here we can see that uh, the plus 2, Zn plus 2 ion has completely filled a d orbital, right, which is more stable, right, than a 3d9. 3d9 uh, is highly unstable. The reason is that to eject, first of all, to eject uh, one electron from a completely filled d orbital is really difficult and it will require a lot of uh, you know lot amount of energy and also this will be unstable because it will always uh, you know want to acquire the more stable configuration right so here zn plus 3 is a unstable uh, ion and zn plus 2 is a stable ion right so according to our question this could be our first uh, correct option now let us uh, check for the other three. So we have Cu plus and Cu2 plus, right? So Cu plus or Q plus ion will have the electronic configuration as 3D10 and 4S0, right? And Cu2 plus will have 3D9 and 4S0. But here what happens that in aqueous solution, right? Uh, hydration energy is something that uh, you know changes the game right so just by looking at the electronic configuration it li looks like or it feels like that cu plus is more stable but actually what happens that in uh, aqueous solution right uh, cu plus undergoes disproportionation to form cu plus 2 ion and cu solid right and this happens because uh, the hydration energy or enthalpy right of uh, Cu plus 2 is very high which compensate the second ionization enthalpy of Cu to form Cu plus 2 right. So this is the main reason why uh, Cu generally uh, gets converted into uh, Cu plus 2 aqueous right and this is more stable one. So this one uh, will not be the correct option. Why? Because Cu plus is not that stable as Cu plus 2 in aqueous solution. Now let us have a look at the third one where we have Cr plus 2 and Cr plus 3. So we have Cr plus 2 which will have the configuration of Ar. Then we have 3D4 and 4S0. Similarly, 3, uh, Cr plus 3 will have Ar. Then we have 3d3 and 4s0. Now what happens that uh, the, in the crystal field splitting theory when a uh, ligand attacks d orbital of uh, chromium plus 3 it, it, it splits into two energy levels right. So we have t2g and eg right. Now having three electrons left in d orbital now t2g energy level is half filled and now this half filled T2G uh, you know subshell becomes exceptionally stable right. So now uh, out of these two we can now say that Cr plus 3 is more stable than Cr plus 2. So Cr plus 2 always you know it wants to acquire the configuration of Cr plus 3 because it is more stable right in aqueous solution. So this one is also incorrect because we have to look for the 
uh, you know, that particular oxidation state which is uh, stable and it should be the lower one, right? So here the higher oxidation state is more stable. Now looking for the last one, we have uh, V plus 3 and V plus 5, okay? So we have V plus 3 and V plus 5. Now this one will have the electronic configuration as, so we have AR, then we have uh, 3D, we have 3D, 2, yes, and then we have AR, 3D, 0, right? Now here we can see that there is no electrons left in D subshell, right, in the case of vanadium plus 5, which means that it had now acquired the noble gas configuration which is highly, highly, highly stable, right? If you just have to compare it with uh, V plus 3, right? So V plus 3 will always want to lose its electron to acquire V plus 5 oxidation state. So now it is pretty much clear that uh, this option is also not the correct option because here the lower oxidation state is unstable and the higher oxidation state is exceptionally stable, right? So the correct option according to our calculation that uh, the zinc plus 2 is more stable and zinc plus 3 is uh, you know is less stable so the option 1 is correct one and rest all of the three are incorrect ones i hope this is clear to you thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today